Axon DAO, one of the leading cryptos within the sector of decentralized science, recently put out this article on X, written by Mac, who is their CTO and one of the co-founders of Axon DAO. I want to kind of go through it with you guys here today and just give you my thoughts and kind of break down what he's talking about because I think the key points here are very intricate and are going to be the foundation for what we see in the coming decades when it comes to the scientific space and specifically health care. DSI, since it is so hyper fixated on healthcare, is going to play such a massive role in this. I think it's important and I want to give him a quick little shout out because it is a good article. It's just I know that some of you guys are like me and don't enjoy reading and would rather have someone read it to you. So today I'm going to read the article to you. <laughs> So he said, I've created this plan because I firmly believe that research connected with health and healthcare should enrich our lives daily, providing value through the data we collect and own. One of the key points of DSI is that last part there, ownership. It is data sovereignty. It's our data. We should be the ones valuing off of it. So the current situation, academia is centralized. And the science is only semi-transparent. Unfortunately, the main contributors of the research process are often the least rewarded, which is a terrible, terrible dichotomy of expectations. Despite the exponential growth of research capabilities, we still aren't utilizing the power of young researchers efficiently. The system has been replicated for at least the last 200 years, and now it's very counterproductive. I mean, we've had so many technological innovations over the last 200 years, and the ultimate foundation behind the science has not really changed much. Like, they're still living in an era before the internet was a thing, just barely starting to adopt the idea that you don't have to have everything not online. Everything is online, and as we keep going further, it's only going to become more and more apparent. We can do it only together. Let's unite, baby. There's enough room for everyone to make progress in science. Laboratories, equipment, protocols, and academia are all necessary components as we need to foster an environment that values both failures and successes in building layers of interconnected empirical knowledge. We must cross-test, question our researchers, and confront existing paradigms. Now, that right there. Confront existing paradigms. I know this is a stupid example because it was such a long, long time ago, but were you guys aware that back before Darwin, before Darwinism, there, the existing belief was that life was just spontaneously created. If you left out a piece of meat on your counter, flies would just start spawning from it. And the generally accepted idea was that maggots or these flies just kind of spontaneously were created and that went on for hundreds of years and that was generally accepted as the correct answer for how life is created it wasn't until somebody ran a, an experiment kind of questioning this norm and realized that hey wait a minute maybe it's not just spontaneously appearing maybe flies are laying their eggs in the meat and then the larva is being hatched from the eggs and then obviously that's what it was and we now know of things like bacteria and all this fun stuff and we understand that life doesn't just spontaneously generate and it makes me personally question what existing like pieces of research what existing generally accepted knowledge points are just totally inaccurate and 100 years from now, we're going to look back and be like, damn, did we really believe in the Big Bang? Like there was nothing that all of a sudden, bang, everything existed. Just my little little rant there. I think, I think it's part of the scientific process that we actually question everything. The steps we are taking right now. So this is where it gets into the meat and kind of gives you some good action items to be taking and things that you can look out for when it comes to axon down so to facilitate real change we need to interconnect our existing and future algorithms this entails quality data with owners consent transparently funded research algorithms and solutions as services or products and interconnected agents acting on others on users behalfs to create long-term change in the research industry, we must build alliances and consensus. Hence why Axon, I think, just recently announced a partnership with Data Lake. So Axon is out there at the forefront making partnerships all the time. I mean, they're, they're the ones who flew me out and invited me to come to the NVIDIA AI Summit earlier this year. They are constantly making partnerships and trying to reach out that olive branch so that they can expand the entire research and, and academia space, not just their own products. 
We should share information about data sets to match researchers and ideas, fund promising projects, and integrate where possible. By creating a unified platform for presenting algorithms and solutions, we can build smarter, faster, and fostering the developments of agents to mesh networks. The end goal. My vision includes sovereign personal health AIs that create daily personalized health profiles using a crowd of quality algorithms. This ecosystem must be open, cost efficient, and energy efficient. With the foundation, our applications, devices will become personalized, offering tailored functions, suggestions, and answers through functional AI. This new cycle positions researchers as creators of a new economy. Let me read that again for you. This new cycle positions researchers as creators of a new economy. Everything you're seeing play out in the world of decentralized science is a brand new economy, something that has never before been done. And so it's not like you can just model this out and see what it happened. If you improve this by 10%, you might get 10% the profits and then we can boost GDP, but no. This is a completely new economy that's being built out. The whole idea of personalized medicine, personalized AI developed health reports. That's why, why do you think I was so excited about Gina, genomic data? And why do you think I went and started working at a genomics lab where we were actually doing DNA sequencing? This is brand new. This entire field of, of like personalized healthcare, thanks to our ability to sequence out the human genome. It's, going to allow for environments such as going to the hospital or going to your yearly check-in at the doctor and having them do a comprehensive health report based off of a little genomic sequencing event that they did. They swab the inside of your cheek and they put it into the AI algorithms which sequence your DNA and give you a comprehensive health report and they can give you ideas of what markers to be looking out for in the coming years to foreshadow any ailments that you might get and help be able to prevent it. AI mixed with this whole idea of personalized medical uh, data, personalized medical research data is literally groundbreaking. We've never seen anything like this before. And so this entire idea here resonates with me a lot, which is why I wanted to make this video. So let's keep going. The new cycle positions researchers as creators of a new economy with their algorithms, corporate like mesh networks between agents. This will fuel an information economy where the primary actors and beneficiaries are the data owners and the algorithm creators. So algorithm creators, Axon Dow, data owners, us. In the coming months, we will showcase the first prototypes of agent-based algorithms and products. We can start building this future together, focusing on long-term goals and solving complex problems. So let's unite, baby, let's unite. Now the chart doesn't look that great. We'll talk about it briefly, but I want you to understand that just because a chart doesn't look amazing doesn't mean that the underlying product or the underlying asset behind the chart isn't doing well. What I'm saying is the foundations of Axon Dow are continuing to improve and get better, and the token price going down is just giving you better and better entries, in my opinion. Obviously, this is not financial advice, and you need to take with your own risk and enter into positions based off your own risk tolerance. What I see on the chart in a short term is a potential drop again down to around 7.3, 7.4 cents, which is another 25% lower, which sounds pretty terrible, but I'm just basing it off of the technical analysis here where the first leg up on Axon got us up to that six or seven cent area and we built out a little bit of resistance which we broke out of, but now as we come back to test it, I think we'll come back and see if we can hold it as support, which I would be drastically shocked if we did not hold this as support. After that, I wanna make it very clear to everyone, I do not think this right here at a dollar was the peak. I do not think that at all. As a matter of fact, I think Dr. Evil here is spot on in stating that Axon will be in the, the top 50 of cryptos soon. Now, I would venture out to say the top 100 of cryptos, and I think it'll probably come at the end of the cycle, so sometime next year, which is good for us because then it gives us more time to build out any appropriate size positions that you wanted to in something like this. I'm not saying you need to, I'm just saying that I am. I am actually going to begin accumulating Axon here again. Remember, I worked with them for the initial launch, so I had a bunch of coins back then, and now I'm going to begin accumulating again because I think it's finally at a spot where it's 
kind of stupid. It's kind of being disrespected by the market. From here, from 10 cents all the way back up to a dollar is a thousand percent. That would not bring us up to the top 100 cryptos, especially as those begin to uh, accumulate in market value. I believe the top 100 cryptos at the peak of the cycle will be all above $5 billion in market cap, which according to this is a 50X from here, if that were to be a success story. If we were to see Axon enter into that at the peak of the cycle, that would be a 50X from the current price. And I can get into a little bit more depth because this market cap I don't believe is accurate. This is fully diluted value, but all of the coins are not in circulation. I believe it's only 10 or 15% of the coins in circulation. So understand that it's going to be far more volatile than its counterparts at a similar market cap because this is not the real market cap of the coin, hence why it's still so elevated compared to the other DSI projects. But that was my two cents. Shout out Mac, this was a great article. I hope to see more of these in the future. And remember everyone, time is your most valuable asset. Hopefully this is worth investing it into and I'll see you guys in the next video.